Hello, Cup Coders, and welcome back to Surviving Arts Magica. I am your host, Magus96. How you doing? All right, so last episode, well, we fixed the Rift spell, and we started working on the new Celestial Prism. So we're going to go ahead and finish up the Celestial Prism today. Unfortunately, we do not have enough Moonstone to finish its caps yet. So, I mean, on... Damn, hiccups. So that is unfortunate, uh, but we will continue to collect Moonstone until we have the caps. Uh, we did have three Moonstone blocks for caps, but unfortunately, I had to break one of those blocks down to make the Moonstone so we could actually make this Celestial Prism. So there we go. We're, we're, we're getting into it, though. Let's, let's go to it. All right. So with the Prism. Oh, oh, wrong door. Wrong door. This way. Actually, this should be done cooking what it had. So let's take that out of there. Put it in here. Bingo. Where are you at? You're at 63%. Nice. All right. So you're at 34%. Really? Are you here? Zero, 34. For real? You're not connecting? Did I miss anything? No. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead real quick. Let's go back inside. We forgot something. We have to craft something. We got to do that. So the first thing we need, we need is the obelisk. Now, as you see, I've already collected everything that we're going to need here. Just plop it on up in there. I made the chisel stone and everything. So just build it up in there. There's the obelisk. Next thing we're going to need is we're going to need four candles. So we're going to go ahead and, oops, craft that now. I'll just take the four candles, place them right here. These are the warding candles. Cool. Um, the next thing for the ritual, we also need the chalk, which I already have. But the next thing for the ritual is we're going to need a mana focus. So we're going to make one of those. It starts with the lesser focus, and then you expand that with the standard focus. And then you expand the standard focus with Ventium Dust to make it into the mana focus. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, last but not least, it's going to need the light spell, which we also already have. So let's go ahead and get this thing on the road, shall we? So we bring our obelisk out, place it down just like this. Dun, 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 dun. And then around the corners, place, go ahead and place the blocks at the place chalk at the corners, all right? Then come two out from the chalk and block it in just like that. See, two out from the corners and block it in. Chew out from the corners and block it in. So another reason for having the one extra space between this and that one. Finally, the nat very last thing you want is to put your torches down. And therein, the ritual is nearly complete. The last thing we need, we throw in those items there. Pull up our light spell and cast light at the obelisk. Let's back off. Boom. Cast light at the obelisk and that converts it into the celestial prism. Now with that, we can go ahead and place our pillars back up around here. Because notice how the, 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 the candles had to be placed where the pillars would normally go. So you don't want to place the pillars until last. But we do have the ability to do this. Bingo. So that is checked there. Um, next, last but not least, we're going to go get our wrench and hook that sucker up. So we have just pretty much doubled our income for now. Well, not really doubled it. The gold blocks on the top of this one are, are, are doing pretty good, but we don't have any blocks on top of that. So we're going to click that and connect it to that. Bingo. So now this will collect power from both of these both of these celestial prisms. The goal is that we will get some moonstone blocks to put on top of this. And what will happen then is this one will produce power during the day, and this one will produce power at night. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So that's what we're that's what we're going for right now. We'll place all of that back in there, just like that, and. I don't have any more plants. I don't know what to do. Oh my lord. Okay, well the reason I did this right here is because I wanted to like I wanted to use some of these blocks for down in our, our, our little reading room, the, the safe room. Um so what I want to do is I want to go ahead 
And instead of using, well, we're going to continue using that. What I want to do is I want to use some of these blocks to kind of decorate up down there, make it look nice and homey and stuff. And so this allowed me to see which blocks we have the most of. And obviously we have a ton of glowstone, which is fairly easy to obtain. But as far as specialized blocks, look, we got 31 of these. So we can use we can use the topaz blocks. We don't have a whole lot of chimerite left, or that's moonstone. Never mind. Where did the chimerite go? There we go. We got 28 chimerite left. So I'm thinking we're gonna take some of these here, and let's go downstairs and let's decorate it up a little bit, make it look nice. See where we at? We're at 11 percent. So that should at least get us up a few more points there. So I was thinking maybe, you know, bring it in and have a, have a line of these coming in here. But I don't know. I don't know if I like that idea. Let's get our, our, our attack spell there. Dig spell. I, I don't, I don't want to go overboard with the usage of it. Because if we, if we start throwing it everywhere, then it's like, you know, you, you get no benefit out of it being in the room. You know, it's just like, ah, eh, so you got this. Blah. All right, so what? Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah, there we go. Hold on. I want to put that just like that. Let me go give me some redstone. That... Whoa! Well, hi, guys. Yes, I really do need that rift spell, don't I? What is this, Hunger Games? Just going to pick up your friend's meat? <laughs> he must have been hungry. He's like, oh, I got some meat. Meet. It's time to meet and greet. <laughs> That's a new definition for new term for that definition, doesn't it? A new definition for that term. You know what I'm saying. All right, so we'll plop this back on in there. I'm thinking. You know what? No, I'm not going to use that because that's Ventium. We use Ventium in just about everything. So I'm thinking. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Let's go see what that looks like. So I'm thinking, make it like a little wheel. Just like this. So it's kind of like a, a circle of magic, kind of. How's that look? That looks nice. I think that looks nice. That looks good. All right, so we're going to leave those bookshelves there. Uh, what I might do is I might bring up all the books from upstairs down here, and we'll organize them down here. So this will be like our spell crafting research center, and we'll put a, a, a inscription table there, maybe in the, another one over there or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll come up with something. Hold on. Let's, let's just start moving stuff. That, that, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, so we could pick this up right there. Pop you on up. Pick you on up. Um, this actually, you know what? I'm going to pick it up, but I'm going to move it inside because I, I have a use for it. Well, not inside, but we're going to move it over here. Because I wanna, what I want to do is we're gonna put make a, a, a kind of a, a research station here. There we go. We got that coming there. Let's go ahead and plop it around to the back of this. Bingo! So we got a book there. We got a book coming up there. You know, so it's it's not part of that, but it'll work. Because we're gonna do most of our spell research down here now. Because uh, this is pretty much the idea is that way while we're doing our spell research, you know, it, it's working out. Bingo! There's a tier one upgrade. We need to work, look at tier two upgrade soon, actually. And I say let's put this sucker right there. Bingo! Now we gotta find something for over there. It's looking nice. Very nice, nice little place to research. Maybe put a picture there. That's an idea. We just put a picture right there. <laughs> I don't know. Something, something go, needs to go there. Let's go, let's go put some of this stuff away. 
you know, I don't need to carry it all. You go here. And you go there. Hmm. 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 Oh, did I put a... Yeah, I put a thing down there. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? We have... As far as blocks go, deconstructor, reconstructor, that's going to go up here. Armor, imbuement table go up here. Anything that requires power needs to go up here. But if it doesn't require power, it could go downstairs. Uh, oh, yeah. The, 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 the keystone chest. Let, let's, let's do that. Let's, let's show you the keystone chest. And let's show you the keystone. And so, Because that's definitely something that's really important that you know how to do. Um, is, is the keystone chest and the keystone. So, as you just saw, the keystone, we're going to need Ventium Dust, Iron, and Gold. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need a piece of Ventium Dust. Iron and Gold. So we'll put that in the center. I think the iron went here, and I think the gold went around the outside edge. Yes, that makes the keystone. Um, now we need to create, now if we shift and right click, you can see we can actually fit three keystones in there. Now, out of all the keystones that we have, let's see, let's see, rune. R keystones use runes. And as you see, we've got a bunch of runes up here. Um, there are one, two, three, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think there's like 16 or 17 runes there. Um, so with this keystone, it takes three runes to lock as the key signature. So to figure out, and there's a lot of combinations. Like here, let me pull up my, 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 my calculator on my phone here real quick. And I'll tell you how many combinations there are. My, my phone's a little slow. Give me a second. So if there are 16 runes, and I might be wrong on that, 16 times 16 times 16 is 4,096 possible runic combinations for your lock. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come up with a, a key combination there. Let's see what do I want. I want, you know what? We're going to go. We're we're going to go a little patriotic here. So let's see. One, two, three. Let's grab those. Red. Dang it. White. And blue. That's a little patriotic, isn't it? Red. White. And blue. Gotta say, man, I love America. America is, as far as I'm concerned, and I can't really say that because, I mean, I've never really been to other countries, but as far as I'm concerned, America is the best country in the world. Yes, I may not like certain things that America does, but it is the best country in the world. All right, so there we go. There's our keystone right there. We can actually store this as my lock. Okay? Combination stored. So you type it in, put your combination in there, put your thing in there and click that. And that stores it as your combination. So you can have as many combinations as you want. Like I can switch that out. And that's an entirely different lock right there than this one is here. That's it, it, it's, it's a key combination. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to next, we're going to show you the, 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 the keystone chest it's right here. So we need two black runes. A bunch of wood and some Ventium. That should be easy, right? So let's grab a piece of Ventium. Let's grab six pieces of wood. And we need two black runes, right? So what do we need for black? We need coal, I think. I'm pretty sure it's coal that we need. I'm going to pull two pieces of coal out of there. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh, no. I am totally wrong. What is it? Oh, ink sack. Duh. You freaking idiot. <laughs> oh, it's really good. It's really, really good. I should have freaking known that. Duh. I feel stupid now. 
the 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 seriously all right and two black runes so black runes go there ventium dust goes there and then we hollow around with the wood that makes our keystone chest now i'm actually going to put this keystone chest down in our safe room i mean it is called a safe room right um, it, it, I mean, we're not calling it a safe room in the terms of what we do in the real world. In, in the real world, a safe room is a room that you can go to to be safe from everybody. But this one's entirely different. Now, we need some runes in here to lock it, right? So let's go make our, our, our key combination thing. Let me show you how this works. It's red, white, and blue. white and there is the red oh we need some more we need some more runes they're fairly easy to make right check this out look how easy that is to make that one two three Red, white, and blue. All right, so we've got our runes. Let's get back over there. Oh, we could go fight the, the boss again. But I mean, the only reason I need to fight the boss now is just to get at the, the blue stones. That's it. All right, so we open the chest. Plop this in here. Red, white, and blue. Notice it does not use the runes in the process of locking it. But it will not let us open it. So, you do not have the right keystone to use this block. So, let's do this. So, let's see. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. All right. So, when we put red, white, and blue, it shows up over here as red, blue, and white. So, we need to switch this around. R W B. Let's save that. And now we can open it. That, that just doesn't red, white, and blue. It, I guess it makes more sense to me to go like this, there, there. But it, it goes here, here, here. So there's our combination, red, white, and blue. And as you see, if we don't use the keystone, if we have the keystone in your inventory, then you can open the chest. If you do not have the keystone in your inventory, you cannot open the chest. You have to have the keystone with the right combination in order to unlock it. So that... That is a way to protect your stuff on a multiplayer server. Um, you cannot protect all your possessions, but you can protect the chest. Now, unfortunately, you also cannot break the block without having the keystone. You have to have the keystone in order to open the chest or break the block or whatever. So there you go. There's a way to protect your stuff. Pretty cool, huh? So now we have a protected chest down here. Um, there's also other stuff like let's well, let's do that. What we can do is we can make a door right here. Let's, I think that's a good idea. Let's throw a door somewhere in here. So like maybe right here. We can put the door right there. So it's it's a, it's a protected door. So we take out this and just protect the door there. All right. So let's do that. So to do that, we're going to need. There's also a keystone door. Which is a magic wall, two which wood planks, and six blank runes. Let's go do that. We got plenty of magic walls, I promise you, I do. Boom, boom, two magic walls. Uh, we need one, two, three blank runes. And some witch wood planks. Is that enough? No, I think we need more. No, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. So we need to put the blank wall runes across there, put the magic walls up there, and then the witch wood planks there. That makes our keystone door. Right, let's go get... Oh, 
put the door down here. That means we're not going to be able to access it without a keystone. We're going to have to have the keystone in our inventory anytime we want to go down into our, mag or our safe room now. But that's okay. This actually makes it into a safe room. Like, nobody will be able to access it other than us. You are just, you are just begging for booze in here. Look at this. Do I really have to break you out from a distance? <coughs> oh. And now we can do the same thing here. Red, white, and blue. So now you have to have the keystone to open the door. Check it out. So this is really a safe room now. We, nobody can get in here and out unless, well, I mean, of course, they can break the block. But they cannot get through this door without having the keystone. The keystone protects us. That is the only way through there. Now, because we have the keystone, we can also break the door. Boom, just like that. Easy stuff, right? So I'm gonna put it right there. I don't really like that, actually, because it, it, it opens out in, in the wrong way. It does, all right. Let's just block it right there, bingo. And it is a it is a see-through door, so I think that's kind of kind of cool. There we go. All right, um, is there any other keystone stuff? Let's see, there's a keystone receptacle that goes onto a portal. Ooh, yeah, we need to we need to work on that portal at some point too. Man, there's so much stuff in Ars Magic that we haven't even touched on. Wow. It is ridiculous. It, it it really is. It's hilarious. Now we've got all these magic runes in there. Actually, we could have we didn't have to make additional sets of runes. Like I could have just went with a single set of runes and put them in the keystone. Make sense? Now, we can switch out our locks just like this. I'm going to go ahead and remove the my lock thing. So we only have the RWB, which is the correct one. We don't need it anymore. Um, I think another use for the keystone is that you can make a node network or a, a yeah, it's, I call it a node network, but it's a, a traveling network. And we'll get to that. It's a portal network. And if you do that, then each, and you set each portal to a different runic combination, then you can store that in your in your keystone here, and so that would be like a key to for dialing up to those certain gates, so that you can use any gate to dial up to another gate. That's pretty awesome, don't you? Don't you think so? Um, if but also with the gate with the gate network you don't have to put one in there so what will happen is when you light it up it'll access the next gate in the line in sequence so i honestly think using the, the combinations on the gates is perfect because that way you can dial in to where you want to go like you just pull this up and switch it out so like right here i have rwb let's let's rename this um we're gonna call this safe room that's what we're going to call it we're going to call it safe room so later as we get more combinations we have more places to go to we could actually build a network to pass us from one place to another um the way we're going to power those is you can, you can power them using these the obelisk the, the and this with the celestial prism and the dark prism but what more than likely most people and then what we're going to do is we're going to use the celestial prism to power it just because the celestial prison doesn't require maintenance like that one over there and it doesn't require energy from enemies like this one over there does so that way it'll constantly generate power for those for that gate um, if you don't have enough power for a gate to transport you to the next location it could dump you in a random location so you got to be careful with that all right well i think that's going to be it for today as always a like a comment and a share lets me know that you care Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Surviving Arts Magica. I'm going to move these books into the safe room. See you next time.